Welcome back, Captains and Admirals, to another video with a funny muffler. And today, we're on the Sea of Fortune, and we're using the Palo Emilio. So, what we're going to talk about in this video, we're going to talk about the ship and if it's worth getting. It's 750,000 global XP, so it's, it is quite an investment. Personally, I would recommend it because it's a fun ship to play. To get the most out of this ship, how I've been playing, I I did try playing passively, spotting, you know, using my smoke and you know, chipping people down with the main guns. Because the guns are pretty good, you know, you've got quite a few of them. You've got four turrets; they're all doubles, but they do have a slow reload. So I found the best way to get the most out of the ship is to just play aggressively. She's got three torpedo tubes, and she's got one in the centre and one on each side. They are big yield torpedoes, so you can devastate battleships, well, anything, especially battleships. But that's going to be a primary focus, is, you know, finding out where the enemy team are, you know, and see if you can surprise them, you know, pop from behind islands or appear in suddenly ambushing so oh, she's got three quadruple 530 millimeter torpedo tubes and the maximum damage of the torpedoes is 23,767 with the current build detectability is 1.7 torpedo speed is 71 knots so these things aren't slow but they've only got a 6k range and as you see we've got a 6.3 detection range not ideal she is incredibly fast so a maximum top speed of 47 knots with the engine boost you can get it to about i think mine's 53 or 54 give or take uh turning circle is 810 meters but shift time is 4.2 uh bearing in mind this is uh with the modernizations i have on her but we'll we'll go through that at the end of the match so we've spotted in alabama i have the Receptive skill on so I can see the closer ship. So at the moment, we know where he's going. Plenty of island cover. But what are we going to do? We're going to surprise him. We're going to ambush him. And this is where this thing comes in. It it, 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 it comes in absolutely flying. She's fast. She's devastating. But she's quite big. Got a big destroyer. Alabama is up ahead. So we're going to pop out and big yield torpedo. They're going to say hello. We're going to pop on engine boost. Engine boost activated. So she does have an exhaust smoke screen. There's the hipper as well. So we do need to keep that in mind. As soon as we dump torps on this Alabama, our hipper is most likely going to start blasting us because there's nothing much else in range at the moment to shoot at. Whether our team is spotted or not, I'm unsure at the moment. We do have a division mate in the Azuma. So hopefully now they'll uh, push into a and give us some support. Here, here comes the Alabama. And good night. She can't turn her guns fast enough. Smoke started. Devastated. But the Dravidi got Don Sky does fire at us. Get some previous nits. He does raid at us as well. So I did pop my um my smoke because the hippo was quite close. So try to move away. And I am going to clip it as well. Because um, I do want to start doing like, you know, like, I suppose like a kill montage or just a montage of, you know, just pulling off really crazy stuff. So yeah, they're currently pummeling us. Disabled a lot. They're lucky the radar has run out. But the seed man's not fantastic on this thing. 6.3. So it does leave a bit to be desired. But you're so fast. It's it's absolutely crazy. It's just so fast. So twenty four thousand four hundred maximum hit points. Let's be fair. You're not gonna want to know about the armor. The armor's it's destroyer armor. This hasn't really got much. But you don't have a citadel, so um, right. So the guns. So they're one hundred and thirty five millimeters. So there's four turrets, and each turret's a double. 
So in our current build, we have an 11.4 kilometer range. We do have a 10.7 second reload though, which, you know, let's be fair, it's not fantastic. But they do hit fairly hard. Uh, 1,950 damage for HE, 3,000 damage maximum for AP. 9% fire chance, which isn't bad for a destroyer. AA defense, you know, it's not that good. You know, she's got two dual uh, 76, tw um, 12, 13.2 millimeter breaders, um, 20 millimeter, um, six quad, uh, 20 millimeter breaders, and then uh, 135 millimeter, uh, 45. O T O, and she's got four doubles. But yeah, the armor, you know, twenty millimeters mostly on the bow and everything. You know, the guns have thirty-three to seventy-five. But let's be fair, the armor's not going to be that much. But she does have the ability to have a standard smoke screen as well. My build currently, I would, I would recommend. Get the extra speed out of her and use the exhaust smoke generator. I found this worked better for me. I've tried using the smoke and it doesn't seem to have the same impact. Because the exhaust smoke screen, you can pop at full speed and especially when you got your engine boost going, you just you can close distance so so quickly. And if they haven't got a radar or so on that, you know there's a good chance you're gonna nail them. took the Alabama out we moved away so it's another time for another ambush AL New Jersey here we go another ambush so we get torpedoes away I don't manage to turn in time to get the other torpedoes off because they're swinging around from the other side it doesn't really matter I will fire them off just in case he dodges but you know it's probably only, only, only going to take three torpedoes to destroy him because these torpedoes are so devastating. But I would really recommend just using the exhaust smoke generator. Oof. There goes the New Jersey. Uh, we are opening fire on the Bismarck. So we pop our exhaust smoke generator. Just for the cover, because we've got the um, the cruisers forks in our destroyer. Like I said, our guns are quite a slow read. They are fairly punchy. You know, but it's not like, you know, it's not like Elburn guns or anything like that, so, you know, don't expect miracles. This mark does go down. But the party piece is, you know, she's widely known as the YOLO Emilio. You only live once, you're really fast, you've got devastating torpedoes. You know, it's just ambush, ambush, ambush. I would definitely say she's worth getting if you like destroyers, you know, and if you, she's got quite, I say she has quite a high skill ceiling um, and quite a high skill floor as well. So make sure you're comfortable in destroyers and comfortable playing aggressively. You know, it doesn't matter how good you are. Let's be fair, everyone's going to get caught out at some point. So some matches, you, you are just going to get caught out. But more often than not, as long as you play you know, smart, you know the positions of your enemy, and make sure you use island cover to your advantage. The way I've got my power set up is, I will show you the stats everything after this, but I'll just run through it now quickly. So I have Amy System Mod 1. She needs the um, Searing Gears mod for the extra um, rudder ship. You could use the propulsion for that extra uh, extra acceleration. But we're going to close in on this FDG. So I will launch both torpedo tubes, just in case he manages to squeeze through them. I doubt he will, but should only take one, maybe two torps at the most. But he's not looking at us. His secondaries, they are going to take a couple of pot shots at us, and they will chip a bit of our health away. But too late. I fired the third salvo and that was just overkill really. There was no need for it but hey ho. Corps away. But we've got one devastating strike. We've got 22 million battery hits. That doesn't matter. 120,000 damage with 10 torpedoes. Four floods. 
two criticals, we've got a base cap, three kills. So I think we've really pulled our weight this game. You know, we've... the thing is, with the power meter, you can cause so much distress and mix up so much commotion in the enemy team. You know, you, you can just cause absolute havoc. And you can reposition so quickly, even without the engine boost. But I would definitely recommend putting the concealment mod on just for the extra um, concealment reduction and for the incoming fire dispersion increase. You could use the um, ceiling gears mod, but she needs the concealment really. The more concealment you can get, the better. Um, I was tempted to put the um, epic uh, torpedo launchers mod on when I unlocked it the other day, but. I changed my mind. I'm going to keep it because my Shimakazi is nearly finished, so I'm more likely to end up mounting it on that. But um, I would suggest mounting Torpedo Launchers Mod 3. Yes, you do get the increased chance of getting your torp due to incapacitated. Luckily, it didn't affect us too much this game. But the Torpedo Reload um, Reduction, you really need it because that's going to be your main damage dealer, is the torpedoes. That's what you're going to want to do, you know. It's just so devastating. I have had some other matches where I've um, managed to get the guns to work for me. You know, I've caught a couple of cruisers broadside and I've managed to load AP. You know, do a bit of smack damage while I'm closing behind an island. So, fire your guns off. Sneak behind an island. Merry Christmas. Happy days. Hold my AP shields. But yeah, she's so much fun to play, so... I, I, I think she is worth the XP. She's a good ship. And like I said, if you can play aggressively and you can play aggressively, you know, well and, you know, use your brains, you can cause absolute hell. 2,681 base XP, three kills. You know, we, we did well. I think we pulled, well, we pulled our weight. You know, we devastated a good chunk of their team. So we're using Giuseppe. So he's got the um he's mostly based around like smoke dispersion. And that's what I've used to extend the smoke screen. Just it's all smoke screen, torpedo speed, and I got blue and Bruce for the speed increase. And that's what I've done. Just speed, smoke screen, um deployment time. That's what you want. Uh, you can get it up fairly high. Uh, I've seen some builds, but my commanders aren't all maxed yet, so it is unfortunate. But hopefully you did like this video, guys. Please like it if you liked it. Leave a comment. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Sub to the channel. You know, we're starting to grow very nicely, and we'll expand our content. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and please, please, please take care, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care, captains and admirals.